Tonight, a showstopper on the launch pad, a lightning strike, and then a fan problem halts this weekend's dress rehearsal of NASA's brand new SLS monster rocket. We've been waiting for NASA to tell us, did last night's lightning strike damage the SLS or any of the other systems? And just in the past few minutes, we got our answer. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. NASA just wrapped up a conference call explaining what happened with that lightning strike and the dress rehearsal and the halting. New 6 Jerry Askin was on that call. So, Jerry, what happened and when will they try again to finish that practice countdown? Well, tomorrow morning, Eric, and the plan is to resume and begin that tanking process at 7 a.m. The biggest question I had was, did lightning from Saturday's storm at the KSC have any impact on today's scrub? Or did it somehow damage the mobile launcher the rocket sits on and launches from? Again, what's called a wet dress rehearsal began on Friday, but that two-day test had to be stopped today because of a supply fan issue around 7 this morning, NASA leaders say, during that tanking process. Now, here's some video of what appears to be um, lightning at the KSC over the rocket, hitting the tower surrounding it, known as the lightning protection system. Now, that happened last night, but today, NASA leaders said the lightning bolts set them behind, but they saw no constraints to proceed with Sunday's countdown. They were eventually able to clear all four lightning strikes and say that wasn't the reason, in fact, for the scrub. The team is now working to fix those issues. Now, this morning, NASA was set up to fuel up the SLS rocket and countdown before lifting off. Though leaders say teams were not able to safely pressurize the mobile launcher or add fuel because the fans were not working, fearing they could be exposed to hazardous gases. Now, engineers are now at the pad and working on the fans and will now try Monday morning to resume what's called that tanking process. And that's when liquid propellant is loaded in the rocket's core and they check for leaks and other issues. Now, I was on that NASA call today in the past hour as those next steps are being discussed. Take a listen. The, uh, the lightning event that we had yesterday, we were able to work our way through that and, uh, and, and clear the systems and clear for the test today. And, uh, and the fan issue was what, uh, what was the cause today. We don't believe that that was related to, to the storm or to the lightning event. Yeah, News 6 will let you all know how that wet dress rehearsal goes when it resumes tomorrow. You may be asking, what's the goal here? Well, the Artemis long-term plan is to return astronauts to the moon by 2024. Eric.